Hey guys, and welcome to Our Gray House Vlogs. I am just sitting in my car. I'm about to take my stuff in, and then I've got to scoot over to a lunch appointment um, over by the mall. It's actually at the mall. There's a restaurant at the mall called BJ's Brew House, something like that. Anyway, that's where I'm going to have my eating. Can you see me? I feel like the steering wheel is like right in my face. Here, let me scoot you over. Anyways, so um, I had a phone call with the landscaper this morning and um, he's got to put sod in before we can get a certificate of occupancy also known as a CO so before we can get our final CO we have to have sod in on the whole front yard and the side yard and part of the backyard and it's gonna cost us about two grand almost 2500 actually so it's like Ooh! you know like a cost we didn't really anticipate um, nor did we think about and then Marvin was like oh maybe we could just do that ourselves I'm like yeah maybe we can't um, uh, yeah that would take a crew doing it would take a while much less us not professional landscaper people so um, we got that but now here's the problem with that so Houston has been getting like a ton of rain and they can't cut that's where all the sod comes from apparently I didn't know this um, just like carpet all comes from like Georgia did you know that I didn't know that so um, that's all coming in and um, the uh, um, so the sod comes from Houston they've had a ton of rain they haven't been able to get into the fields to cut it or whatever I don't even know how they harvest sod uh, <coughs> which might be one of those things like I need to go take a tour there and have them explain it and do like a video for you guys because I think that would be interesting but I digress so um, it would be at least Tuesday before we got the rest of the sod in and it would take a day or two I don't know how long he said I actually didn't ask that uh, I'm just assuming a day or two to get the sod in and then uh, but we don't close on our old current house our old house until Thursday anyway a week from today so the earliest we could even move in would be a week from today um, or start moving in would be a week from today so um, I'm not in a super rush and I want things done right and I want things done so that we can just kind of like <sighs> breathe and stuff like that um, but uh, yeah so anyway that's kind of where we are with that uh, what else can't think but uh, yeah so anyway uh, I'm a little distracted I just feel like there's like so much going on and I keep saying that and I keep saying I'm gonna get caught up and I'm not getting caught up enough to where I feel like my head's above the water I just feel like oh, I feel like kind of like this and I keep trying to like lift my chin so anyway um, bad visual I'm sure but okay so let's let's haul our stuff inside unpack some of it and then scoot over to the mall uh, because I actually need more foundation oh no wait I bought that fit me from Maybelline so I kept saying fit me from CoverGirl but it's not it's from Maybelline um, hmm and it was I don't know I don't even know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go I'll see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, not much happened today. Although I did go to that lunch meeting and we were just talking about him becoming a realtor. So that was kind of fun talking shop. And then after that, I went to Home Goods and I made some purchases, which I'll show you guys in a little bit when I get home. And then I came here and I did work. And that's all I've been doing all the rest of the day. So now I'm headed home. I'm gonna call Marvin, see what he wants for dinner. And then um, hopefully it's either so I forgot to put stuff in the crock pot, so my bad. But um, hopefully he's wanting either something that I can pick up or he's wanting whatever we have at the house. But, ooh, um, ah, I need to go through my bags and like not bring all these bags tomorrow because it's like too much, way too much. But uh, I'm gonna go home. I'm cleaning out these bags tonight because tomorrow's March 1st. I just locked the door. <laughs> I must be tired. Tomorrow's March 1st and it's the start of a new month. So I'm gonna go into the weekend all organized and ready to go. Hey, so I realized that I had already put up the stuff that I got from at home, but it's already wrapped up and I'm pretty sure it's in a box ready to go. Cause I'm like, oh, I don't need to unpack it. I forgot I didn't show you guys. But what it was is two gray bowls with a white trim around the top. 
that'll be for the cats, for their food, for their soft food. And then I have about two different bowls because I liked both of them. One was a Ray Dunn, one that said meow, and that would be for their dry food. And then another one was a white bowl. The Ray Dunn is white, but it's kind of off-white-ish, not like a really bright white. And then the other one is a white, whiter bowl. And it has like, it says me, I'm just showing you script. It says meow around it, you know, in kind of like a script. So I thought that was cute too. So I thought, well, they share, they free feed out of a shared bowl. So I could put their kibble or dry food in that one. And then, but I'm not sure which one because I like them both. So <laughs> maybe I'll interchange them for a variety. And then the two new bowls will be for their, um, their wet food. So I have to still buy a mat to go under their litter box. And I kind of want to buy a new mat for their, where their food's going to be. And, but I'm not sure, cause that's just kind of extra. And then I need to buy the stuff for my office furniture and I need to buy, what else was I gonna buy? For my office furniture, I'm just buying an inexpensive desk. I saw one at Target for like $140. And then I'm going to um, buy a chair to go with it. Just a simple side chair, hopefully $150 or less, preferably less. And then I'm gonna buy a like an ottoman and I kind of want the chair to be pink and the ottoman to be that teal color. But then I go like, well, maybe I'll do the chair the teal color and the ottoman the pink color. Just because I want kind of it to look feminine but not too frilly girly. But because um, the walls are gray and the carpet's dark gray. And so I thought just, you know, add some like tones into it, like jewel tones that would make it look pretty. And as far as art, I don't know yet. Oh, I also need like... It, one filing cabinet. I'm limiting myself to one filing cabinet because we don't need we don't need a bank a wall of filing cabinets. We just don't need that. So um, I'm gonna desk, chair, ottoman, filing cabinet. And that will do it for the office. And uh, cat litter mats for their cat box. And then for the living room, well, in the living room and dining room, we're gonna go look at furniture together again. Quality furniture is one of the places that we have here in the ski, and they sell Ashley furniture. So we're gonna go look at the furniture there again, and then um, decide, just kind of like firmly decide what we want. We're gonna keep these, let me show you. We're gonna keep our current end tables. Let me, let me show you. So this is an end table that we have right now, and it is, Round, I have two more that are square or kind of square is shape and they have anyway so I'm keeping that I'm also keeping this lamp I may have to get a new lampshade but we're not really having lamps in our living room per se because um, we don't have any outlets near the in the floor we decided not to put outlets in the floor because we have plenty of pot lights or can lights above and so by the windows though we will have probably a chair and one of these tables or possibly a smaller side table with a lamp on it. Um, other than that, uh, we're really not gonna need the lamps. So I'm gonna use the lamps that, who's calling me? Oh, my daughter, Sarah, hold on. I just talked to Sarah for five ever. Instead of forever, it was five ever because it was even longer, but it was good. She was venting about some stuff. I was venting about some stuff and it was good to talk to her. And we talk on video almost every morning anyway on Marco Polo. So um, I see them quite a bit, but uh, it's always nice to have some one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I also talked to Nicholas tonight. So Nicholas tries to check in with me at least once a week. And uh, anyway, so it was good to talk to a couple of my kids and I forget what I was telling you guys. But, oh, I was telling you about the lamps. So, I have um, two lamps just like this, and I think I'm gonna use those lamps in the bedroom, the master bedroom. And then I have um, this lamp here. 
but you can't really see. But anyway, it's a little bit smaller and I think I'm gonna use that possibly on the entryway. I just found out that the entryway table really needs to be about 10 inches it's not, it's not very that's not very big you know what i'm saying so i'm not really sure how the entryway table is going to work i may not even put a lamp there but that lamp can go into the guest bedroom and then i have another lamp over here so this lamp over here that i just showed you i feel like i've already just told, talked about this but anyway this lamp right here um, is a little bit different at the base and stuff like that i thought I don't want everything to be too matchy matchy. So I thought, well, maybe I could put one of those like in the bedroom. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, two are going to go into the bedroom because I want bigger lamps by our bedside table. And then one is going to go in the guest bedroom and one will go in the table in the living room by the window. That's the plan. I think I want the smaller one that was in the entryway hall to go in the living room and then this one to go in the guest bedroom. And I'm kind of toying with the idea of only having one nightstand in the guest bedroom because it's not going to be used. I mean, it'll be used a little bit, but not even really. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm just going to do one nightstand. So that way we don't have to, um, have extra furniture that like literally will never be used. I don't even know what I would store in it because I have an awesome problem. I have almost like too much storage. I doesn't say way too much storage, but I don't have way too much, but I do have quite a bit of storage in the new house. So um, I don't need two bed stand nightstands that are never going to be used. The one, I mean, I put, might put like Kleenex inside there or, yeah, so I don't know what, what I'm gonna do um, or what I would put in there, but yeah, I'm just gonna buy one nightstand and we're gonna buy the headboard and the frame and the bed for the guest bedroom. We're buying couch and I already bought the ottoman for the living room and for my office, I'm doing the desk. I know I've already told you this, but I'm telling you again. Um, we're getting the desk, a chair, filing cabinet, and an ottoman for my office. I'm going to use the mirror that's in our master right now for my office probably. And or I'm just going to buy a new mirror for that. I don't know yet. But I do want like a long mirror in there. So when I do videos and when I do like outfit photos and stuff like that, I'll have something that I can do it on. Uh, do it like show you from. And then the bathrooms don't really need anything because uh, we already have a shower curtain that'll go into the guest bathroom and I mean I might buy some towels but it's it's nothing huge or anything like that and I think that's really all the furniture stuff because I'm gonna use this um, as the sofa table in the uh, living room and so like as you walk in you come like right in you'll see this, this sofa table and then you'll see the sofa and then of course you can see outside um, and then we have three end tables one's around and two are kind of square-ish and so um, I'll have probably use all three in the living room but I'm not super sure just yet so um, because we're anyway we're thinking about buying the couch so like this and it has like a little corner so it's almost like a sectional, but it's not really a sectional. Um, but I'm also kind of wanting separate couches so I can put one of these end tables in there. And then we already have an entertainment center and probably gonna get a new TV and then put the TV that's in our master, we're gonna put that in the guest room. We're gonna buy another TV for our bedroom and a TV for the living room. But before you guys go, why are you buying so much stuff? A lot of this is on gift cards because like we do Shopkick, we do, we get points from Capital One. So I'm going to convert those to gift cards and that's how I'm going to purchase some of this stuff. So calm down everybody. It's going to be okay. And I think that's all of our purchases. So I'm really trying to keep it down, but I mean, we're still going to be spending several thousand dollars. So, I mean, I'm not trying to pretend like I'm not, but I'm trying to be thrifty and economical and be a good steward of our funds so I'm not just like overspending. 
So that's really, try I'm trying to look at the sales. I'm trying to look at, you know, just all that kind of stuff. So, okay, so it's late now because now I've talked to my daughter and we talked for, well, about a half hour, maybe a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.